Hello everyone, welcome back to the HashiCup Certified Terraform Associate series. So basically this is an FAQ video because a lot of you have been asking me a lot of questions around this exam. So that is why I have uh, accumulated all of these questions into this short video on the exam. So for example, the first question that a lot of you have asked me is what is the cost of this exam? So as you can see in this reference, so this is very well documented in this link. So the cost is 70.50 US dollars. Okay. So with tax, it uh, came to around 88 in India when I gave it, which translates to around 6,800 or 5,000 at that point of time. So obviously the tax will be dependent upon the local rule and also the actual cost that you will incur via your credit card or debit card will be based on the currency exchange rate at that point of time. So it's something around 7,000 INR you can consider. I could not find any vouchers. Many of you have been asking me for vouchers, but I don't have any vouchers. I gave the entire money on my own also. Okay, so uh, if you get any vouchers, use it, but I don't have any. What is the passing percentage? Again, I don't know, frankly, because it is not publicly available, nor is it available in my report card. But in most of this uh, exams, I have given around uh, 10 to 15 odd uh, online uh, cloud-based certification exams. So if you get around 70% or more, you should be ideally safe, but I cannot comment. Can I take this exam if I'm just a newbie to Terraform? See, normally you can take any idea, but the exam is also very straightforward and easy. And I personally feel if somebody has used Terraform for even six months extensively, he should pass the exam. But say, no, you are a newbie, you haven't ever used Terraform and you want to take this exam, you might have a longer run, uh, basically learning curve. Okay, and I would suggest you to at least use Terraform, maybe in some personal projects or some office use cases for around four to six months or maybe less, two to three months before you take the exam. See, a certificate on its own is worthless if there is no knowledge backing it. So I would encourage you to have some basic working knowledge of Terraform in actual use cases before taking this exam, because in that case, it would be helpful to you. Otherwise, it would not be helpful. But if you want to just try it out, go ahead. Feel free to just try it out. It is extremely simple. Comparatively, it is very simple. Is there a negative marking? Again, not declared publicly, but I'm quite sure that there is none. For example, I got 53 out of 57. So I personally feel that I was a little, uh, there were some questions that I was a little bit confused or dubious about. So I personally feel that if there was negative marking, my score would have been reduced around 48, 49. So I feel that there is no negative marking. Does every question have the same footage? Again, I am not sure, but I think so. Okay, because for example, 57 questions I had, so my marks was in 57. Now, whether one of these questions had a 0.5, another had a 1.5, I don't know internally. But I personally believe every question has one mark. Okay, because they're very straightforward, similar kind of questions, no case studies, nothing. Okay. How many questions are in the exam? 57 to 58. Not declared publicly, but 57 to 58. I got 57 questions. I checked a few blogs and I spoke to a few people and they got 58. So 57 to 58 questions in one hour. So that is like, so they're very straightforward. So for example, I got out of the uh, exam in around 10 to 15 minutes. So if you know Terraform, it will be very, very simple because most of the questions are very, very straightforward. So out of this 57 or 58 questions, 45 will be extremely straightforward. So just do it and go to the next question. For the 10 to 15, you might need to spend a little bit time. Okay. Especially if you have not uh, come across that concept or something. Do we get the results immediately? Yes, you get the result immediately. Also, you can get the detailed scorecard with the section-wise uh, percentages. Okay, so for example, this sec uh, exam tests you on a few sections, right? So you get a detailed scorecard. For example, in this scorecard, you can see the total score is 53. Maximum score was 57 because I have 57 questions. So I got 53 out of 57. So percentage is 93%. Exam outcome is a pass. Is it available online? Proctored? Yes. As of now, it's only available online. There is no option to take it in a remote exam center. Yes, it is also a proctored exam and the proctor will be present very active and will inspect you during the duration of this exam. Is it available in multiple languages? Can the exam content be translated via web native Google Translate? No. As of now, it is only available in the English language. I don't think any translation would be allowed because in the sense that no other tab could be opened along with the, uh, in parallel with the exam tab. So how do you translate in a Google Translate? But the questions use very simple English. They don't test your English at all. They are rather, they test your Terraform skills. And even if you're a little bit comfortable with English, you should be ideally okay. So these are not like the very long AWS solution architecture like professional exams where it, I personally believe they also test a little bit of English along with a lot of AWS. Okay, so these are not like this, extremely straightforward. 
Do we get a hashi cup certificate after the exam? No, you don't get any certificate, but you get a badge. No, so badge certificate. You can accept the badge via the acclaim site and then you can share it with others. How to register again? Very simple. You just go to this link, click on register for the exam, and all and follow the next steps. So you just go, you create a login ID, do your MFA, and then you give the exam day. And basically, you first need to buy the exam and then you can schedule the exam at any later date. What resource should I follow? Again, see, this is completely up to you based on your comfort and usage uh, and experience and expertise with Terraform. For example, I have been working with Terraform for about one and a half years now. So I was quite confident and I did not study a lot, frankly. Okay, but these official guides that I have mentioned here, this might be a good place to start. Okay, this might be a good place to start. They are all official websites. If you just certificate exam, study, learn, like that, you are going to learning initiatives free of cost both for this exam and also for your internal knowledge are there any good blogs to follow there might be there are actually a lot of good blogs not only for terraform but for infrastructure as code the list is endless it depends upon your taste focus and stuff like that for example here i have mentioned hashicorp's own blog with the category as terraform is very very good to follow it will give you a lot of knowledge maybe you will not need all of that knowledge for the exam for your real life use cases for sure should I take any Udemy course? Do you recommend any? I personally am not recommending any Udemy course because I have not followed any. Okay, but you can. So, up to you again, and it is based on your constraints and your requirements and your comfort level with Terraform. I personally learnt it on the job. In case you don't have as much exposure, you might it might be good for you to start with a Udemy course or a Moodle site course or a Linux Academy, Cloud Academy, whatever. Just one sample course to get you at par, and then it's based on your usage. Did you face an issue? Meaning, did I face an issue while connecting with a proctor for the Terraform exam? There were reports that some were not able to connect with the proctor. No, it was pretty, pretty smooth for me. I was pretty impressed. In case you have any technical issues, you might need to reach out to the technical support team. But I did not personally face any issue. I have a strong net connection and everything went fine for me. Okay, now coming to the practice exam set that I have started currently, it has 10 questions. So many people are asking, are these questions in the practice set similar to the questions in real exam? So the answer is yes and no. So see, my question might appear a little bit more convoluted. They might not always appear as straightforward as in the exam. So the exam questions are pretty straightforward. But all of my questions also are pointed towards one specific aspect or concept in Terraform, which is the same thing that all of the questions in the Terraform exam are. For example, 10. So my question is also asking you about Terraform 10, but maybe in a little bit complicated way because I wanted to do it like that. I did not want extremely straightforward yes or no questions, but uh, the actual Terraform question might also ask you on Terraform 10 only. So you need to know Terraform 10 or the Terraform comments, for example, this is just one example, but they might be much more straightforward. But yes, all of my questions also have one-to-one -one mapping between each question and one exam object. Okay. What are my future plans with this practice question series? My plan is to create a free question map, completely free of 50 odd test questions related to the exam that I will upload over the next two to three weeks. So all of these videos will be completely free. Please try to answer the questions first yourself and only then go to the explanation to get the most benefit out of this. Also check out the explanation because in each explanation I have spent some time and effort in basically explaining the solution the way to go and also I've explained a few concepts which is related to the solution and kindly subscribe to my channel in case you want to get notified for future videos. Along with that there were some questions regarding practice exams and blogs and this and that so I will suggest you do some google search okay if you get something good just kindly uh, basically start using it maybe comment on my channel that you are using it if I get some time I might check it out and let you know whether it will be useful for you but this way see the idea is that this exam is pretty, pretty straightforward and elementary, but the knowledge of Terraform is something that you need for your use life, actual use cases. Okay, this is not something that will be elementary. In Terraform, you can do a lot of complicated stuff. So thank you. Uh, please share your feedback and let me know in case of any future concerns.